This is the type of lock that could be easily cut by thieves. And CSUN's Department of Police Services recommends getting a hardened steel U-lock like this one to help secure your scooters, bicycles, and skateboards. Being scammed takes an emotional toll on you, so Build LA CCD provided stress balls to help ease the pain. To my right, CSUN's Chicano Student Movement of Aslan presented, and to my left, the manager of CSUN's Pride Center talked about what it takes to be a leader. The Lakers have had many legends don the purple and gold, but none of them embody the Laker mentality like Kobe Bryant. Until then, students can enjoy the peacefulness of the Orange Grove without having to worry about the noisy construction. Reporting from Northridge for Valley View News, I'm Edward Siegel. They are becoming an increasingly popular mode of transportation on campus. With their increased usage, they have become a target for thieves. Every day that I am on campus, I do ride my skateboard just because it's a big campus. People who ride scooters and skateboards like Andres Baron are trying to be more vigilant when locking them. Actually right here, I usually carry a lock on me, if the camera can get that. Because, um, you know, they have like, you know, skateboard locks set up. A campus crime trend alert put out by CSUN's police services says that 10 e-scooters were stolen in April and 6 were stolen between April 4th and April 11th. It's been a consistent um, issue since the beginning of, of the fall semester, actually. Some of the suspects were caught on CCTV footage around Maple Hall and Chaparral Hall. I don't think scooters take that much space. Emmanuel Mendoza is a CSUN student. He thinks it would be a good idea for the campus to tell students to bring smaller scooters so that they can bring them inside classrooms. I know some of them are foldable, so I think the foldable ones should stay in, like, in the classroom or near where the students are at. This is the type of lock that could be easily cut by thieves and CSUN's Department of Police Services recommends getting a hardened steel U-lock like this one to help secure your scooters, bicycles, and skateboards. Deputy Chief of Police Mark Benavides says thieves use burglary tools to steal scooters. So they're coming in with cutting devices, you know, fence cutters, if you will, things like that, and they're using those to, to cut the locks off the bicycles and then, or the scooters. Benavides recommends registering your scooter with CSUN's Police Services so it can be traced back to you if stolen. Reporting from Northridge for Valley View News, I'm Edward Siegel. The Lakers have had many legends don the purple and gold, but none of them embody the Laker mentality like Kobe Bryant. On February 8th, the Black Mamba statue was unveiled in front of his wife, kids, and many of his former coaches and teammates. Kobe's 19-foot tall statue is surrounded by replicas of the five championship trophies he won and sits atop a triangular base, representing the offensive system as head coach Phil Jackson ran for most of his career. On the statue, there is also a QR code, which fans can scan to watch Kobe's highlight reel. It sucks that he's not here to see it, um, but at least his fans are here to see it. His family got to see it, obviously. Um, it's just every statue that comes as a Laker fan, this is probably the most deserving one. <laughs> At the unveiling, Kobe's wife, Vanessa Bryant, said the Black Mamba chose the pose himself. He picked the moment he walked off the court after his record-breaking 81-point game. Him putting his hand in the air, it means sky is the limit. That's what it means to me. For Francisco, the Mamba was more than just a basketball player. He wasn't only my favorite player, he was a role model to me. He even named his daughter, Selena Capri Francisco, after Kobe's last daughter, Capri. You know, like he had nothing but girls. I have two daughters, you know, I love my daughters. And he gave me that role of being, you know, like what? It's not all about having boys, it's about having daughters and making sure that they're right and they're doing their thing. Before the ceremony was over, Vanessa revealed one more surprise for Laker fans. The statue is the first of three the Mamba will receive. One will feature him in the back half of his career, wearing the number 24, and the other will show him and his daughter, Gianna. With the statue and the two to come, moments like Kobe's 81-point game, his 60-point performance in the final stand of his career, and his Game 7 victory over the Boston Celtics in the 2010 NBA Finals, are sure to be immortalized forever. Reporting from Los Angeles for Valley View News, I'm Edward Siegel. The United Nations Court is set to decide the legality of Israel's occupation of lands claimed by Palestine. The case will focus on Israel's 57-year occupation of Gaza, the West Bank, and East Jerusalem. Palestine's legal team said the representatives will argue that Israel violated the prohibition on territorial conquest and the Palestinians' right to self-determination. Israel is not scheduled to speak at the six-day hearing, but could submit a written statement. The LA Clippers have tied the series against the Dallas Mavericks in the first round of the NBA playoffs.
Harden step back, three pointer. Got it. James Harden now lighting it up. After losing two straight due to a struggling offense, the Clippers raced out to a 31 point lead in the first half. Thanks to Kyrie Irving's 40 points, the Mavs came back and took the lead at the end of the fourth. Paul George and James Harden's clutch play got the Clippers the 116 111 victory. George and Harden each scored 33 in Kawhi Leonard's absence. Interestingly, the Clippers only won the games in which they didn't have their two time champion. The pivotal game five is back at the crypto this week. For the first time in more than two decades, China is sending pandas to the United States. The pandas will be arriving at the San Diego Zoo, which is preparing to receive the pair that could be descendants of two of the zoo's former residents. The pandas are among the most reproductively successful mates in captivity. The black and white bears have been a symbol of the U.S.-China friendship since Beijing gifted pandas to the National Zoo in Washington, D.C. in 1972. You know what, Edward? I'm going to take a trip down to San Diego just to take a look at those pandas. They're so adorable. You know what? Pandas are really cute. I might join you on that trip. We should definitely do it.